think it is right there? Flew over that fence like nothing, dog. Like a barbed wire fence right here. What? I had to run through that. Dude, you are a savage. Here, hand me that iguana, oh, dude. That's my neck. Uh, ultra red Charizard iguana. Check out his mouth. Super feisty. He thought he was gonna get away, dog. He thought. He thought wrong, baby. He got some eggs in him, probably. He thought wrong. Here, hold. Little so nature's frontier. We got some little iguana berries over here. Iguana man himself, he's gonna try to. Just woke up. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I didn't expect him to be this big right here. Wow. This is a true giant iguana right here that was just sleeping, taking a nap. What a freaking beast. Oh my gosh. Do you see this thing? Yeah, man. Look how his back is arched up like that. Look at his head, how it just sits. Hold on, guys. Bring it you guys a little bit closer. This action right quick. Oh my god. Talk about a dinosaur right here. Look at it, full tail too, bro. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna try to grab him because he looks like he got a lot of energy. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is where you wanna be really careful when you're dealing with these giant iguanas. You wanna make sure that he's tired out. He looks like he's ready to strike. Like he's not tired at all. Like we need to make sure he's worn out a little bit. So let, oh shoot, he just, oh. All right, oh shoot. And we snared him around his hip. So remember what I was telling you guys, when you guys are trying to catch an iguana, you always want to make sure that you grab him behind the shoulder. You never want to grab him back. Ow, shit. Ow, crap. You never want to grab him back here, because that's when he can turn around and bite you. But we're going to go and go in for the manly strong grab behind his neck. neck. Just like that, guys. Giant iguana in hand. Wow. Talk about a beast. What up? Oh, my grandfather. He's going to get smoked for a cool little...